Well, the, the, uh, the presence of this Norway spruce timber in New York State has a uh, very interesting history. It, uh, it's, it's not a native species. It was, it was brought over from Europe. It's a prevalent species in, uh, in Western European countries. Uh, it, was, it was planted on abandoned agricultural land that was purchased by New York State. One of the requirements of, of uh, the state purchasing this abandoned agricultural land was that the, the land would be reforested with trees. And the, the reforesting operations fell on the C Civilian Conservation Corps, which was a, uh, a government program put together in the uh, 30s by FDR. We are at the Advanced Structures and Composite Center at the University of Maine in Orono, Maine. Today we are testing Norway spruce. Uh, we are assisting in doing the testing that's required to get this particular species introduced into a species category uh, called spruce pine fir south. We could break any piece of Norway spruce that's ever been grown in the entire world, I promise you. The value for me is how straight it is and the, how fast you can produce it. The Norway spruce is a very easy tree to produce at, at quick volume because of the size. No knots, no limbs. It's, it's done. Bing, bing, boom. Done. It's going to prosper our business if the test goes through because the price of the spruce is going to in time double which in time will double to the state of New York as far as stumpage goes which would give them more revenue I'd love for them to pass this so more markets would be available to sell the spruce and everybody would make out better in the end well if if the uh, if the design standards meet the uh, the uh, anticipated targets uh, this is going to open up an entire large market for the timber growing on New York State forest land, the Norway spruce timber on New York State forest lands. Uh, currently, New York State has approximately 900 million board feet of standing Norway spruce volume. And uh, right now we're cutting at the rate of about 10 million board feet per year. We anticipate that we can up that level uh, quite significantly. And we're, we'll be glad to know now with the design standards in hand that we'll, we'll have markets uh, far and wide.